One of the most important things we can do when we're seeking to understand scripture is to see the context of what it is that we're reading. In other words, we don't want to pull one verse right out of the middle of the thin air and try to understand what it is that God is saying to us. And so it is when we're looking at Colossians chapter 2. We've been talking the last couple of weeks about this section of verses, and Paul begins by saying, as you have received Jesus Christ the Lord, walk in him. So salvation is only the beginning. And he goes on to say that we need to be building on that foundation of our salvation, being rooted and built up and established in our faith. And then last time we saw that Paul warns that we not be influenced by the empty philosophy of the world. In other words, don't listen to those in our culture who would try to take one little snippet of biblical truth or humanistic belief and use it to sway you from the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul follows this up in the next verse. This is Colossians 2, 9 now, where he says this, for in him the whole fullness of, of deity dwells bodily in who, of course, in Christ. So what Paul is telling us is this. If we're to build on the foundation of our salvation, if we're to be established in the faith, and if we are to resist the lure or the deception of the philosophies of this world and the things that Satan would use to distract us from the truth, the antidote for that is to know intimately Jesus Christ. Why is it so important that we know Jesus Christ? Well, Paul says, in Christ dwells all the fullness of deity bodily. That means that Jesus Christ, who Paul and John and Peter and the other apostles affirm to us is very God, in Jesus Christ, we have a perfect representation of the character of God. It is critical that we understand that Jesus Christ is not God Jr. He is not God Light. He is God, and yet he lived on this earth bodily and physically. He demonstrated for us what it means to live as a Christ follower, what it means to serve God wholeheartedly, what it means to sacrifice everything and to do it all perfectly. And so if we are to be established in our faith as Christ followers, if we are to stand strong against the storms of this life, our task is to know Jesus Christ intimately because he is a perfect representation of the character of God. Can I challenge you today to dive deeply into the word of God, to study the person of Jesus Christ, and to see in him all that we need in order to honor God with our lives.